All right, good morning. Went to the gas pump the other day, and uh, just for some strange reason, the door is doesn't want to open, right? It's kind of like sprung, like somebody did something to it, or it just might have just broke. I don't know. It just opened nice, and just it said randomly one day it didn't work right. It's kind of like rubbing on the back now. It doesn't seem to be hit or damaged. It just quit working. So we're going to try to fix this thing and make a video. Of, if anybody else has this crazy phenomenon happen, maybe they have an idea. I couldn't find anything about it really. So here we go. Well, let's start simple. See if WD-40 works. Get a spray, maybe that help it out a little bit. Spray it in here on the incendiary. Boost it up real good. A little bit on there. Well, that helped. That actually helped quite a bit. Still kind of rubbing on the back. So I don't think we've totally fixed it. But maybe we've made it where we can see it better. And I'm, I'm suspecting this and this spring right here has something to do with it. You see that it's going to be rubbing right here. The rubbing mark. Yeah. I'm wondering if this has gotten turned around or tweaked in some kind of way. Yeah. It doesn't seem to... This, uh... Get a screwdriver or something and see if there's some kind of uh, thing we can do to help this out. WD-40 definitely uh, helped our situation temporarily anyway. Yeah, look at all that rust that's in there. Built up corrosion, I guess, uh, impeded the operation of this thing. I would never thought there would have been that much rust in there. Yeah, that's a lot better than it was. Yeah, that's like way better. I don't remember it rubbing like that right there. back there. It's almost like got pushed in or something. It's kind of flat there. A little bit recessed there. I'm wondering if it, if it got pushed in in this area here a little bit. So, alright. This, uh, we're making improvements, so let's, uh, I guess at this point, really don't want it rubbing that's going to wear the paint out and eventually cause once the WD-40 dries out it's probably just going to get stiff again and we don't want that so let's try a more permanent repair let's find a screwdriver all right let's see here I'm just wondering if that thing got rubbing right there. Mm -hmm. well, I almost I think it's almost like this piece here got bent a little bit. Maybe somebody put their hand on there. Let's see if we can figure out how to bend it back. I think we need a fulcrum. 
something to put in there. Alright, here we go. We can try a piece of wood right here. And of course it's got these rivets here to make it hard to do. If you really had to do a major repair, I assume you would have to uh, drill these out with a drill and then go back either with some new rivets or a screw of some type. So it's not exactly uh, easily repairable, but for those who are not afraid of drills and doing that kind of thing, it's doable for a handy guy. Um, of course, It'd be nice to be uh, have the ability to fix it without doing all that. No play in it. I just sort of like it's got a. Maybe if I had a hook type of device, like a crowbar. A little bit. I don't think we're rubbing anymore. I think we're back where we need to be. So obviously this bar got bent somehow. Somebody leaned up on it. Maybe I did. Uh, maybe somebody getting out of a car pushed on it. So if you counter that, try to bend this lower section out. Um, obviously if yours is rubbing down here. If it's up here rubbing, then obviously you would put the force up here. And try to obviously it's kind of straight, but it's got a little bit looks like a little bit of an angle uh, built in. We'll do W a little more WD-40, and I think I'm pretty happy with that. That's bad, bad as good as new as it's going to get, I think. And it hooks like it used to this way. Doesn't rub on the bottom. Maybe I'll try just a little more on there. Yeah, that's a little better. Definitely has to do with the angle of this. There we go. All right. Six. And call that a good day. Nothing out of pocket over other than some WD-40. You probably use some silicone spray as well. Alright, until next time, like and subscribe. Thank you.